500 years ago to this very day, Henry VIII and the Holy Roman Emperor, Charles V, signed a treaty here uh, to invade France. Henry wanted to play the European game and get involved in Europe. And here he is signing a treaty with the most powerful monarch in Europe, who was King of Spain and also the Holy Roman Emperor. So it was a very important deal and thrust Henry into the middle of European politics. We have some reenactors who are showing all sorts of Tudor things and reenacting them and allowing children to see what life was like in Tudor times. We've got dancers, we've got jesters, we've got falconry. There are all sorts of things that have been going on all day. We've all come with um, His Majesty's retinue down to see the signing. And this day we've mostly made pottage. The men have shown their skill with the arms and their fletching and their bow making and uh, sewing and, and braiding and the like. I was really interested in getting involved Obviously a big fan of the Tudor period, so you know this is, this is a great place to come. Uh, the grounds are absolutely stunning and the history is really rich. People are sort of interested in the old time sort of craft, so, so I'm the bow maker, we've got a Fletcher, so he makes the arrows. It's quite nice to see something as the way it should be, it's not a modern bow, it is a proper Tudor, what we call a war bow. So we've been doing a lot of uh, shooting, so get a good idea of like the strength required to actually shoot a medieval bow. Yes, yeah, it's a mighty, mighty weapon. It's important to celebrate because the palace is now a set of ruins. But in its day, certainly in Henry's time, it was absolutely beautiful, sparkling white walls could be seen from a distance and would have put awe into anyone's mind who approached it. Bishops of Winchester were bishops of the richest diocese north of Milan. They had extreme wealth and this palace was built to match that wealth and to impress any visitor. The bishops were also often chancellors to the king and so royal visits here were very regular throughout the medieval and Tudor period. And so it's very important that local people understand their own history, that children grow up knowing that Henry VIII visited, stayed here. And I think it's just so important to know your heritage rather than just have to learn it from books. It's been really exciting, yeah, it's been wonderful to see the community come together, particularly after a couple of years of, um, of lockdown, um, and to celebrate such a wonderful occasion. Um, it's wonderful to have an opportunity to celebrate our heritage um, and our history, and yeah, just a wonderful occasion to bring everybody back together again. It's great, it's bringing history to life for the kids, the kids are enjoying themselves here today, my children are, other children are, just generally a nice thing to be part of. It's fun, I think. It's important because I think everybody ought to see what the palace is like. It, it's, it's historical. It's been here for a long while. So, and, and I think to be involved with the village, I think is great fun as well. I think it really encourages people to think about the whole town and get everybody together. I mean, it's got a lovely family, old-fashioned sort of feel to today. Very simple activities that actually people forget that they really enjoy them and they really have had a fantastic day. I learnt a poem about Henry VIII and his six wives. I've made a sword, a shield and um, a crown. There's loads of activities and you learn a lot about um, King Henry. Today has been a very, very enjoyable day. I've always been interested in like medieval Tudor, like history itself. It's one of my favourite classes at school. So I just think this is a really cool place to be. I've enjoyed seeing all the adults dressed up. I like seeing 
how the dining room was set up in there and sort of how it looks a bit more like when Henry visited. Well, I've learnt lots of things about Henry VIII and I also like watching all the cool acrobats and stuff. I've had a very nice time today. I've gone and held an owl and I've also gone over and seen bees. This is a very fun place. Really pleased with the way it's gone. I'm so impressed with how many people have turned up, how much the children are enjoying it, because that's the whole point. It's really important for the children to understand and know their heritage. Very unusual. I know it doesn't happen every year, but you know, good on Bishop Swarthen for laying on such a lovely afternoon. I was really excited to be involved. It was just sounded such a wonderful project. It's just so important that people realise why this palace was so, so vital within the history of the village and the town and how it's grown, but how we can value it even today. The organisation is very good. The whole sort of enactment of something that's 500 years in, in the making is really quite extraordinary. It's so wonderful to see the children here having such fun. No batteries, no screens and they're lost in their own world. It's such, such a nice place, thank you. I think it's amazing. I think there's so many different variety of activities for all of the family to do. Um, it kind of almost brings it to life. Like it's like stepping back in time um, and it just brings lots of local um, families and local communities together. And it's amazing for the children just to learn more about the past. We watched the uh, celebration of the signing of the treaty. You could really imagine from what they were saying, the scene 500 years ago today uh, it was pretty spectacular actually. And to have that slice of history in a place like this, it's a one-off. It's completely unique, so really enjoyed it. <laughs>